Hey guys, welcome back to my new video from my new series where I draw famous paintings with my own characters. If you're new here, hey, I'm JD, I'm a digital artist and art student who is trying their luck here on YouTube. Now, without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, the painting I chose for today is Boy with a Basket of Fruit by Caravaggio. It was painted back in 1593 by Italian manieristical and Baroque master Michelangelo Merisi da Caravaggio, but let me just call him Caravaggio for his video because there is already too many Michelangelo's in the art history. For those who don't know, Manierism was a time period between Renaissance and Baroque and it could be taken as the last phase of Renaissance uh, and Baroque developed from it soon after. Basically Caravaggio himself started as a manieristical painter and then soon after that he was one of the main people or artists who helped to form Baroque style. Now, more about the painting itself, the model or the boy you can see on the painting was actually Caravaggio's friend whose name was Mario Miniti and he was also a painter back in the day and he was only 16 years old. Funny to say only 16 years old because people back then were sort of used to die at very young age and 16 is, I would say, something like an equivalent of middle age crisis for today. So. The interesting thing about this painting is that it shows a few aspects of painting, not just one. And by that I mean you can see a portrait and still life, which is the fruit on the painting in a basket, and also a fabric. So at the end it took Caravaggio only one painting to showcase all his skills from painting skin, painting portrait, painting different textures from fruit to fabric to everything else. And actually, in my opinion, the fruit in the basket is the best from this painting. It's just something that catches my eye every time I look on this painting and it's just something I adore so much. Caravaggio was actually also quite a bad boy. <laughs> he used to get in a lot of street fights and actually after some time he had to move cities because he got into quite a lot of trouble, not just because of the street fights. But one of my favorite things about him is that he used a prostitute as a model for one of his paintings. And the paintings is called Madonna of Loreto, which as you can hear just from the title, it's religious painting. And he used prostitute as a model for Madonna on the painting, which is just ridiculous and just funny to me. <laughs> There are also rumors about him that he was bisexual or homosexual, but to be honest, I would be really, really surprised if he was straight, because as long as your name is Michelangelo, you are an artist and you're Italian, there is no way being straight. I'm sorry to break it to you, but Michelangelo's who are artists and Italian, they are not straight, sorry. <laughs> And now more about the OC that I'm drawing today and it is Patrick and to be honest he's one of my favorites and he's quite closely related to the OC that I draw in the last video uh, and was Morgan. I'm gonna mention him a f maybe a few times in this video but if you want to get to know Morgan better then after finishing watching this video you can go to the first one. My basic idea for this was, you can see like a boy with a basket of fruit and you must be like, oh, the boy must really like fruit because he has like a whole basket of it. So I should use some OC who has something that they really like. So the only option for me was Patrick because he loves his cats. Sometimes I would say maybe even more than his own wife. Anyway, that's for that's a topic for another video. <laughs> Patrick was born 15th of November 1967 and that should make him 54 years old if I'm not wrong. Patrick is also Morgan's friend, they know each other since 7th grade and they are still friends until now. And I don't think they're planning to break up their friendship and also because of Morgan, Patrick got 
applies and is an employee of MI6, which is a birthday secret service. He's also Megan's friend and Megan's boss at the same time. And Megan was also mentioned in the previous video. And she's basically just very socially awkward character that is really cringe, but in a good way. But they love her anyway, even though she may seem kind of stupid. Or technically all the time. <laughs> Most of the time she's just doing stupid things. Patrick also has quite, or I, maybe I would say, very dominant wife in many aspects of her existence. But uh, basically she's that kind of person who would kill you with her bare hands and then wouldn't even cry at your funeral. <laughs> she just has that super badass energy that I just love and I just stand that thing about her <laughs> and actually her and Patrick met back in the 90s when they both were in the military as well as Morgan uh, and I think that's the one thing that I forgot to mention about Morgan he went to military for a few years and then he regretted it for a really long time after he got back home <laughs> Anyway, Patrick and his wife met there, well, not his wife back in the day, but then they got married. When they met back in the day, she was 18 and Patrick was slightly older, he was 20. But the funny thing that I absolutely love is something that applies to Patrick and I call it military clothing syndrome. And it is that even after more than 20 years when he's off the military service, he still wears the camouflage pattern clothing. You know, that sort of army thing, those like greenish patterns, you know what I mean. And even after more than 20 years when he's just existing without being in the military service, he still wears the same things that he used to wear back when he was like 20. He just kept that sort of army slash soldier slash military aesthetic, like the white shirt, camouflage trousers, the combat boots also, he wears them like all the time. <laughs> and that uh, silver duct tag, if you know what I mean, he just wears that all the time, so that sort of is like, at, not attribute, it's like something that if you see a guy wearing combat boots, camouflage trousers and white tank top, or t-shirt, that's Patrick. Patrick also gives off sort of father figure vibe since after like settling down, getting married and stuff, he wanted to have kids. But as I said previously, his wife is that type of person that when she says something, she really means it. And if you want to go against her, then you will die. So he sort of, you know, managed to solve the problem by himself without actually having kids because she wasn't into that kind of idea. 
because she just thought it would ruin her career and just taking care of kids isn't her cup of tea. So Patrick got to get. As Patrick really wanted to be a father, he just takes his two cats as his own children and that's why he spoils them quite well and that's also why they are both a little bit overweight, just a little bit chubbier than they are supposed to be and they are sisters, Sophie and Daisy and even though I'm a dog person, I just think these two are just really cute. <laughs> Patrick actually gives off a scary impression and commands respect when it comes to first impression but is actually an overgrown child in a good way. He's just childish over so many things, again not in a bad way but a good way. And once you get to know him a little closer he's, he's a really playful type of person. And that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. I also hope you like the concept from the series. Don't forget to like this video, leave some comment and maybe even subscribe. And I will see you next time. But now enjoy the reveal.